Good morning, friends, and welcome to episode 121 of Let's Play Jade Cocoon 2. So, as promised in our last episode, I did end up making my way back through Lilith Nest 1 without you just to save us some time. And in addition to that, I changed up my amulet just a little bit. So I don't want to belabor this as usual since I do make semi-frequent changes to the party. I'm just going to scroll through, let you see what everyone has and how they're looking. So Prissy Pants is obviously the same because she's still level 18, so she will not be merged for still a little bit of time. Oops, let me go the other way. So Merrick is back in the party. He has seen some FaceTime, but that was a while ago. I couldn't even tell you how long ago it was. But I thought since he was in the position to be merged, let's go ahead and bring him. And I gave him Poison Storm. So he is in the slot that Kai was previously occupying. So those are his stats and information right there. So for Sheldon, I went ahead and gave him Shockwave. We've seen the other variations of this skill, but we have not specifically seen this S-rank version of it. So I thought, what the hell, let's throw it on. And here is what Sheldon is looking like. We've got Deidre still. Crash is still here. Sierra. And Lexi whom I accidentally ended up showing instead of scrolling over to Merrick from Prissy Pants. So that is everyone. That is everything. Let's keep on going and head forward into Lilith Nest 2. And hopefully I don't get my ass kicked. As for items, we are looking pretty good. I just want to very briefly show you what we are sporting. So several HP back plus books some healing books, tons of resurrect books, and just the usual stuff that we've had for a while kind of idling in our backpack. But all right, let's keep on rolling. The end is nigh, my friends. We surely do not have too much remaining. I would guess that we'll be able to wrap this up in this recording session. I did, oh, can I get it from the back? Hell yeah, we did. I ended up taking a break between the last episode and this one obviously I just saved and continued on my own because holy shit you guys I was sick for so long and I just couldn't really talk properly in our last couple of videos so I thought you know what I don't want to end the main part of the story on that note with me barely being able to speak and I'm still not feeling well even though it is August 16th it is a Tuesday morning and I am just getting in a session before I have to go to work. But I'm still feeling a tad bit lousy. However, I'm not nearly as sick as I had been. So life is getting easier on me in terms of my health. I think I just needed to wait it out, chuck it out, and I did. So no further complaints about that. In positive, positive news, outside of the fact that I am slowly getting better, my father texted me the other day and sort of unexpectedly announced that he was planning to come up to Wisconsin to visit me and Andrew. I'm absolutely thrilled. I haven't really seen my dad in a little while and we're not exceedingly close, but I do love him immensely and he's always been there for me if I needed something. So I don't know. It's one of those things that I'm both nervous and excited for at the same time. So he'll be arriving. He said he'll try to be here Saturday, but I'm thinking he probably won't get here until Sunday. So I'm just going to guess that he will be here for sure by Sunday morning. And he won't be leaving until that following Saturday or Sunday. He said he'll stay for a full seven days. So whatever that ends up meaning, a Saturday to a Saturday or a Sunday to a Sunday, doesn't matter for me. But thought I would give you guys the heads up, although I did make a Facebook post that I will sort of polish and then put up later this afternoon or maybe I'll put it up when I'm done recording. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I will make an actual post detailing sort of how that week is going to look. And as you guys are well aware, whenever I have visitors, I tend to not be as active online just because, I don't know, I think it's kind of rude, especially since I don't see my father very frequently. So how I'm thinking it's going to look, let's just say he'll be here from a Sunday to Sunday. So what will that be? Like the 21st through the 28th or the 20th through the 27th? One of those two. 
I will try this week to get plenty of videos recorded anywhere from 10 to 14 so that you guys can have a video a day for the next roughly two weeks. So that way, even if I'm not actively online, you know, responding to comments, responding to your private messages and answering your emails, you'll still have a video that you can watch each day and sort of look forward to even if I can't be as interactive as I typically am. So that's sort of my goal with that. Hopefully that's okay. I know it's not really fun for anyone when I'm not online as much. Although I'm not the biggest user of social media, like I don't do that much with my Twitter. And my Facebook page is really there just to keep you guys updated on things. I don't post a lot of random snippets of my life or of, you know, channel news too much. But I think, I think it will be okay. You guys really enjoy having the ability to, oh god, it's this thing, and uh, I think we're okay in terms of mana. We'll survive. Yeah, I think we'll survive. We're not going to worry too much about it, so let's just head on in and fight this monster. But I know how much you guys like having the ability to interact with me on my stupid videos, so I just want to apologize in advance that I know for a fact I will not be answering things very quickly. But I will try to, at the very least, be online enough to make your comments go public as you are well aware and for probably like the last two years maybe more like a year and a half I've had it set to where comments need to be reviewed before they go live and I just make it that way so that I can see everything you say so that I have a higher likelihood of actually responding to your comments because in the other situation if you just let everything go up the notifications aren't very accurate or at least mine aren't very accurate sometimes they'll tell me who has left me a comment or who sent me a private message and then other times I get absolutely no indication that you've tried to talk to me at all which has been aggravating for some of you and it's aggravating for me because that's one of the things that I really pride myself on is the fact that I try to answer all of you or at least where I can like there's some things that you can't really respond to like if it's just someone saying hi like on every single video of yours that they watch like I'll respond to the first couple but after that it's sort of like okay I've already said hi to you out of like the 30 hi comments you've left I've answered half of them I, I'm not going to just keep saying hello 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 over and over and over again but for the rest of the comments that are you know questions or you guys pointing things out to me or sharing fun things about your week or you know just fucking even the ones of you that like to talk trash, that's okay too. I try to respond to all of those. Man, that thing was easy peasy. I wasn't even paying attention to the fight, honestly, but from the looks of it, he did not really do too much to us. What's that shit behind these ogre vines? Do you guys see what I'm talking about? It's like a clear rectangle attached to the back of the ogre vines. And only some of them. That's really odd. I wonder if we'll come out on the other side at some point. Oh, shit. This thing might be a little tough. But we spent so long on our air side that I think everyone else should be okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'll start out on this side. Lexi didn't get the full XP on that last fight. I'm not really sold on Lexi anyway. <sighs> Gosh. My water side, I feel bad for you guys because I know I really have not been using this side to the best of my ability or its ability. So I've done a fairly shit job of showcasing water moves. I've always had like healing, <clears throat> pardon me, healing spells or other support spells, but I haven't used many of the offensive things, which is lame. I really could, but I haven't. I think when I was sporting Patrick, like ages and ages ago, that was the most I really made use of. Oh gosh, this thing does a lot of damage, but so do we, bitch, so do we. I don't want to use, hmm, I don't really want to use my healing yet, but I might have to. Well, let's see. He shouldn't be able to kill Sierra. Can we get this off? Oh, thank goodness he missed! Ha ha ha! Wasted your turn, did I get you? And Percy Pants and Merrick might be able to finish? No. 
Well, at least we got the poison off. Lols. I guess the accuracy for Shockwave isn't too good. Maybe I should have taken that into consideration before giving it to Sheldon, but whatever. What's done is done. Sorry, Merrick. There's not really much to you right now. But our team is looking very powerful, I would say. We're knocking out these monsters. No problem. An XP for everyone. So I might actually need to run back again if Prissy Pants hits the level she needs to. And what is this? Lilith Nest 2? It's what I thought. All right, I need to focus. So <laughs> to wrap up the story I was sharing with you, and holy shit, this thing is so ugly. My daddy is coming. He will be here for seven days. I will use the remaining days in this week to... Mm, how do I want to do this? I think I'll just rotate around, but still give Lexi an opportunity to attack. I'll use the remaining days in this week before he gets here to try to record a couple of episodes of something each day. So my plan is... As I am recording this, I have some Legend of Dragoon. I had a video go up yesterday, and I will have one more edited that will go up today. And then I think I'll stop with the Legend of Dragoon and try to finish this and get these episodes out. And these might take us, what, two to four more videos, depending on how many cutscenes and how much dialogue is going on, maybe five. Let's just say there will be four videos of this. So I'll aim to get like four episodes of Jade Cocoon 2 recorded. And then I'm going to try to record like three to four episodes of Legend of Lagaya, possibly more. Again, depending on how I pace myself, how many fights we get into, and just how long the episodes go. And then with the four episodes of Jade Cocoon 2, possibly four episodes of Legend of Lagaya, if we can get like another four of... Hmm... Let's say if we got four more, maybe five more of Undertale, that would be 13 videos for you. Isn't that right? Because it would be four, four, uh, plus five. So, yeah. I think that that would work. What do you guys think? So, that will absolutely span about two weeks, you know, minus a day. Because getting 14 videos would be ideal. And like I said... We might hit the 14 if I end up getting like five episodes of Legend of Lagaya or possibly more. But I know for sure I want to sit down and record for Jade Cocoon 2, Legend of Lagaya, and Undertale. So we'll see how all of that unfolds. And geez, still no fucking, hmm, key spore. That's all right, monster. Oh, shit. Can I get you from the back? I think that counts. Hell yeah. All right, perfection. I will, geez. I feel bad because Merrick and Sierra are both on the struggle bus here. I'll spend some time on this side to get Sierra's shit up and then we'll try to spread it out and see what we can make happen with this. All right, one down. Well, how have you guys been doing? Hopefully you've all been excellent. Outside of being sick, yet getting better, life has been good, just been working on the grind. I've kind of been doing my own thing as, you know, is the standard for me. Oh, wow. Good job, Lex. That was some big damage. I've just been on the grind, working, chilling. I'm looking forward to finally getting the opportunity to explore the area where we're living. Even though Andrew and I have been here for, geez, it's like... Going on six weeks now, which it hardly feels like we've been in Wisconsin for that long, by the way. I still feel like we recently moved here. Like, if someone asked me, you know, tell us immediately without thinking about it how long you've been here. Like, how long has it been since you left Colorado? I would say three weeks. It does not feel like we've reached a month and over. And I'm not sure if that's just because I work so much or if it's because our apartment is still somewhat chaotic like it's clean but we still have a room like our office area has a bunch of clothes just everywhere that we haven't unpacked because we haven't really set up some dressers and we haven't hung things up in the in the closet yet and we had bought a new tv like two weeks ago now i think it's two weeks ago today we've gotten a new tv so we have the big tv box in there plus the old tv 
is sitting on an extra desk. So the apartment is not in top condition right now. It's not in ill condition, but it's not really amazing as it stands. So that's another one of the reasons why my dad's coming kind of unexpectedly is making me a bit nervous because I feel like, oh my gosh, my home, it's not up to the standard that I like it to be. So it would have been nice if he'd given us more notice than, you know, a week that he was coming, but it's fine. The other downside to him sort of just dropping it on me unexpectedly is that I'm not going to be able to get any time off from work. And the way our scheduling works now, so before we were working, well, it's a 40-hour-a-week job, sometimes a little bit over, just depending on what projects we have going on. But it was spread out, you know, among the five days, sort of like my research position was at the school that I was working at in Colorado. You know, it's like 7.30 to 4.30 or 8.30 to 5.30, just whatever your specific hour makeup ends up being, five days a week. But how we're trying to structure it now, because quite a few of us were like, we would like to have a day off in the middle of the week. This allows for zero flexibility as it stands presently, because if you need to schedule a doctor's appointment or a dentist appointment, or you just want to run errands and not have to use your Saturday to do shit that you'd like to get done during the week, you have to use a PTO day or take an unpaid day off if you give them enough advance notice, which I really hated about my previous job. There wasn't a lot of flexibility with my schedule, and although it was nice that I didn't have to do as much traveling at my research job as I did the job prior to that one when I was working at an actual research facility instead of a school, it still didn't allow for week to week or day to day openness with my schedule. So what we decided here at the development center is that we're going to try to work four 10 hour days. So we're still getting our 40 hours, but we'll get a day off. And it's been okay the way that we've had it structured. There's still some kinks we need to work out. And some people are being whiny bitches about who gets what day off and how that's going to work. And people are constantly wanting to change their day after the fact. But I'm just like, I don't care what day I get off. You know, most people are fighting to get either a Monday or the Fridays off so that they can get three-day weekends. And I'm like, can you children please calm down and just be happy that we can get a fucking day off? So I've been pretty flexible. So I'll take a Wednesday off. I'll take a Thursday off. I'll take a Tuesday off. Whatever day no one else wants for that fucking week, I will take it as long as I get a day off. So that's already been an improvement in this job, having the opportunity to have an actual weekday off at my leisure if I need it. So I got to tell you guys, that has been fabuloso. And yeah, we got our key spore finally. And what I will do, I think I'm going to go back so I can heal up my party before we go to Lilith Nest 3. And this will be good for me because I'm sure there's some people that need to be merged some more. I'm not going to switch out my party. There's really no point. We've had this team for literally one episode, at least since bringing in Merrick and changing up Sheldon. So that's not anything I'm going to tinker with. But let's quickly look together then and see if anyone's even at level 20. I would imagine somebody would be, especially our newbie critters, the eggs that we had semi-recently hatched. So let's check it out. And oh my gosh, LeBron and Patrick. Maybe I could when Patrick hits 20. Oh, he still has a ways to go, so that's not happening. LeBron, you still have a bit to go yourself. But I could bring him if I really wanted to. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. But anyway. Oh, gosh. Lots of level 19s going on. And yeah, as I thought, we've got our newbie kiddos sitting here at the bottom. Ali, Desmond, Sinclair, and Nikita whom I will do some merging for off camera. But yeah, I guess just to wrap up my point, I really like the flexibility in my job getting a day off in the middle of the week, but it does suck that my dad didn't give me enough notice because I can't take like an extra day off to really spend with him. So I think Andrew's going to be spending quite a bit of alone time with my dad, which will be fine because the two of them get along, but I do still feel a bit guilty about that. Either way, I'll still gush more about how much I am anticipating my father's arrival in our upcoming episode. I will run us through as well, little nest one and two, and I'll just bring us back to where we left off. I'll do all the fighting again off camera, get that XP. Maybe Prissy Pants will be close to being mergeable. I don't know. I doubt it, but... We'll see what ends up happening when we resume in episode 122. So I'll see you there, everyone.